Hi, my name is Prasenjit and I work for BMC Atrium Orchestrator product. Welcome to the last part of this video series on REST API operations in BAO 7.9. Till now, we have seen how we can use REST API to log in and log out of RSO and BAO, perform repository management operation, and lastly, we carried out some adapter management activities as well. In this video, we'll cover the remaining adapter management operations followed by module management functionality offered by the BAO REST API. Let's get started. Let's try the get all adapters operation. So this is the REST URL for get all adapters. The operation type here will be get. So basically this request will fetch the list of all the active adapters from the grid. In the header section, we need to provide the content type as application JSON and we need to provide the authentication token and then click the send button. Since we only have the web service adapter activated at this point, it returned the result of that adapter along with the configuration. And as you can see, we have the web service adapter enabled at this point only on the CDP. Next, let's try to upgrade the adapter. This is the upgrade adapter REST URL. The operation type will be post. In the header section, let's provide the authentication token along with the content type. In the body section, this is the format of how we are going to send the upgrade adapter request. As of now on the grid, I have 2016.01 patch one revision one version of the web service adapter and I'll upgrade it to 2016.02. So let's modify the request. Click send. And the requested adapter has been upgraded. Let's validate. Over here we can see that the version of the adapter has been upgraded. Next, let's carry out some module management operations. Let's try to activate a module on the grid. At this point, we don't have any modules activated on the grid. Let's check. As you can see, there are no active modules. This is the REST API activate module operation. And this is the URL that we need to use. The type will be post. In the header section, we need to provide the authentication token and content type. In the body section, as you can see, we are trying to activate two of the modules. These are the version and revision numbers. Make sure the type is selected as raw and JSON. The requested modules are now successfully activated. Let's validate. As you can see, both the modules are now activated. Now let's try to get the list of all activated modules. So this will be a get operation. This is the REST URL for the operation. And we need to provide the authentication token along with the content type. In this case, a body is not required. Click the send button. And these are the list of activated modules on the grid. Lastly, let's try to deactivate these modules. So this is the REST URL for module deactivation. This will be a post operation. We need to provide the content type and authentication token in the header section. In the body, we'll provide the list of modules to be deactivated. Make sure you select JSON from this drop down menu. Let's click the send button. And the requested modules are deactivated. Let's validate this. As you can see, the modules are now deactivated. I hope you found this video helpful and are now familiar with the newly introduced REST API operations in BAO 7.9. Stay tuned for more such BMC Atrium Orchestrator videos.